Until next time. Until next time.
Welcome to Josanna. You're cleared for docking. We have everything you need for shore leave, and a few things that you didn't even know you wanted. Shopping, drinking, dining, entertainment. You'll find it all here. And don't forget the 77th rule of acquisition. If you break it, I'll charge you for it. Get your common cocktails! 4.7% discount for the next three minutes! Welcome to Drosana Station, the home of the finest libations and pleasures this side of Rex. Care to hear about today's specials? Have you tried the common cocktail? It's out of this world! You've arrived at the right time! It's almost the day of the comet! Griffin's Comet is going to pass close enough to the station to frost the viewports! <laughs> and this is the only place in the sector where you can celebrate in style! We've got Comet Cocktails and Keepsake Glasses, Comet Trail Mix, Comet Ice Cream Cores, and 47 flavors! So relax, enjoy the games, have a drink, and pick up some souvenirs for your crew! probably want to send a few trinkets back home to let the folks know that you were at Drosana Station when the comet arrived. Good deals and good times. You'll find it all on Drosana Station. A crew from a Vulcan science vessel visited here a week ago, and they told me that Driffin's Comet has a wide elliptical orbit. The last time it was in this area was in 2262, and won't be back again until 2556, and by then, I'm sure that this crazy war will be over and Drosana Station will be the premier space entertainment venue in the entire galaxy. It looks like your standard ball of ice and rock to me, but the science geeks are all excited about it. They say it's giving off triolic energy and that it has a high variance of chroniton particles. Whatever that means. Me. I see opportunity. Starting now, Days of the Comet. Join in on all the fun for just a few credits. There's no better place for a good deal and a good time than Drosana Station. Good deals and good times. You'll f We've got everything a brave Starfleet officer like yourself could want. <laughs> There's access to shopping, subspace message stations, a few quality vendors, drinks, dancing, and Dabo. <laughs> that leader hologram is really something. Makes me want to get a handful of her pixels, if you know what I mean. <laughs> My partners and I took this place over a few months ago. It was an abandoned piece of space junk then, but with some hard work and careful financial planning, we will make it a pleasure destination to rival Ryza or Casperia Prime. Good deals and good times. You'll find it all on Trosana Station. Humans, I think. But history has never been my thing. The present is where the Latinum is. I know the station was built in the mid-23rd century and served as a trading post and supply station for colony ships and military vessels. Then the House of Duras owned it for a while, but they gave it up in the 2370s. It was empty until my partners and I arrived. Do you know we had to spend three weeks scrubbing blood wine stains off the decks? Between that, the globfly infestation, and voles in the computer circuitry, it's a wonder that we ever opened our doors for business. Good deals and good times. You'll find it all. <laughs> Aren't we all? Me? 
I run a leggy Vulcan with a liberal attitude toward interspecies relations. So, are you looking for someone in particular, or uh, just some company? Oh yeah, I know Samara. Maybe she's been here recently, and uh, maybe she hasn't. My memory is kind of uh, hazy. Yeah, I'm sure we can. In fact, I feel my memory clearing up already. <laughs> I tell you what, I know you Starfleet types aren't big on Latin, but what you do have are skills and a willingness to get your hands dirty. That's what I need right now. Our replicators are on the fritz. Maybe it's a whole power system because the lights are going wonky too. But a little blue mood lighting isn't as big a problem for me as unfilled drink orders. Go to the cargo bay and get my replicators working. By the time you're done, I'm sure I will have remembered where I last saw Zamara.
get your Comet Cocktails. 4.7% discount for the next three minutes. Welcome to Drosana Station, the home of the finest libations and pleasures this side of Rick's. Care to hear about today's... Have you tried the Comet Cocktail? It's out of this world. How should I know? I'm a bartender, not an engineer. The lights started going crazy a few days ago, which was terrible timing. We're getting more business than normal because of the comet, and the last thing I need is a critical systems failure. The 193rd rule of acquisition says that trouble comes in threes. The lights, the replicators, what's next? Good deals and good times. You'll find it all on trouble. That's nothing. Old station, bad lighting. Maybe your eyes were playing tricks on you. How long has it been since you had a physical? But it's probably nothing. No, I'm, I'm sure it's nothing. Don't worry about them. Or it. Good deals and good times. You'll find it. They are. And I am exceedingly pleased by your generous offer to repair them for no compensation. I can't let you go away empty-handed, though. How about... I give you a 15% discount on drinks and souvenirs for an amount of time to be determined by management. Fine. A deal's a deal, right? <laughs> Never let it be said that I'll cheat a valued customer like yourself. Uh, personally, I don't know why you're so interested in her. She's a looker, but just try talking to her. She's more paranoid than an obsidian order agent in a room full of Tal Shiar. <laughs> Zamara usually hangs out near the Dabo tables. Keep an eye out for a looker wearing purple. If <laughs> you can't miss her. Good. Be careful. They're watching. I'm not in the mood for a chat right now, thanks. Keep your voice down. I'm being watched. I've seen too many familiar faces in the crowd, and there are shadows, watchers in the dark. I see them out of the corner of my eye when they Keep think I'm not looking. But I'm always looking. When the lights change, there they are. Watch yourself. They're everywhere. You weren't sent to help me. You were sent to watch me. Drake needs me to keep feeding information to Starfleet Intelligence. The Klingons come here and they drink and they talk. It's amazing the bits of information you can pick up around a Dabo table. Everything, even the smallest detail, is important. Captain Gerard was in here last week. He ordered blood loss, an entire bottle of the 2309 vintage, to be exact. That business with the House of Torg must have upset him more than new. When Gerard's happy, he drinks Warnock. Watch yourself. They're everywhere. Torg was on the High Council until he made a play to destroy the House of Martok. He was partially successful. Maven, son of Drex, is dead. The House has no heir, unless Drex takes a new mate and fathers a new son. But Martok's widow is wise. Her son, Drex, was off fighting in the war. So Lady Sorella called in KDF officers to defend her house. They exposed Torg's treachery, and Jempok was forced to discommendate him. As to why that would make Gerard unhappy, Torg raised Gerard after his mother died. Now he is an outcast, and his house has fallen. Gerard cannot speak to him without losing his own honor. Watch yourself. They're everywhere. Find out who's watching me. I'm not safe here. The Klingons are looking for me. They know someone has been feeding intelligence to Starfleet. Ghosts are always watching. Their eyes are hungry. Yesterday, they surrounded a drunken Klingon. Now, he's dead. They will find me when the blue light shines, and then I'll disappear. How could you know that? You may think you know. You may even have readings in your tripod that you think are right, but you don't know. How could you know? I'm here every day. They watch me, and I watch them. Round and round it goes. No, they're everywhere. They're watching. 
You've been here too long. Someone will notice that we're together. Go do something else. Play Dabo. I'll contact you when I'm ready. When it's safe. Busy losing all my lightning. Can't you see I'm busy losing all Hey, hands off a hologram. Spin the wheel and win. enough. I couldn't wait for you to get that lucky. We would have been here all night. Psst. Zamara wants me to give you a message. Ready? Yeah. She wants you to know. If you're interested in finding out what's really going on here at Drazana Station, you need to check out the lower levels. I have an access code for you that will get you past the security doors. If you want to talk with her again, I suggest you collect your winnings and catch her before she leaves. I'm not in the mood for a oh, chat right now, thanks. Friendly wager. You don't need to worry about me. I'm going to leave this place to the ghosts. They seem to belong here more than we do. I've booked passage on a ship. You don't need to know which one. Just tell Drake. He'll keep getting his intel, one way or another. Good luck. You're going to need it.
help you. I grew up on trading ships, making supply runs in the bowling sector. It was exciting, but it was crazy too. I never knew where I was going to be, or if my parents were going to have enough latinum to keep the ship flying. And then there was that time with the Orion pirates, and let's just say it wasn't the best environment for a child. All I've ever wanted was stability. I used to envy the kids on the colony worlds we served. For a while, I even thought about becoming a farmer. I wanted to wake up at the same time every day, go to the same job every day, even eat the same food most days. I like working on a star base. It has a little bit of unpredictability, but every night my quarters are there waiting for me, and they're always in the same place. Good luck, and stay safe. I have had dealings with him in the past. I think he's some sort of military strategist. He visits here from time to time, although Commander Wildman is never too thrilled to see him. He's always treated me well, though, so I don't have any reason to dislike him. Good luck, and stay safe. Mostly, he wants updates on our research projects. Last week, he was asking me all sorts of questions about the Synchronic Distortion Prototype Rifle. We work with prototypes of new equipment here. I'll bang on something for months to find out all of its advantages and problems before it's sent into the field to be used by Starfleet. Even then, it takes years or more testing and iteration before something becomes standard fleet issue. And most equipment never makes it that far. There are hundreds of inventions that just don't work, or they don't work the way we want them to. Those failures are then broken down and their components are recycled. We have to keep everything secure. If the Romulans or the Klingons got their hands on what we are working on here, they could learn a lot about our technology. Good luck, and stay safe. That was a complete disaster! The basic design came out of Memory Alpha, and it was intended to detect and damage cloaked opponents. Someone there got an idea that the Romulans were developing personal cloaking devices, even though the power needs of something like that would be incredible. I recommended against sending it to field testing, but it went anyway. The crew on the USS DeWitt had some luck in modifying one for use as a hand weapon, but their prototype was destroyed when the ship was lost in the neutral zone. I hadn't thought about it again until Drake asked about it. Good luck, and stay safe. So that explains why Drake was interested in the prototype. It was a complete failure at detecting polarization cloaks. But if I added a phase modulator and reversed the polarity, these modifications should be no problem. And when I'm done, this beam will pack quite a punch against phase-shifted Davidians. I'll forward the weapon on to Drake as soon as I'm done. Be careful. The Davidians won't stop. I'm afraid we'll have to be ready to fight. Good. Efficient 